Hello. Today I'm going to demonstrate the solution to a common question that I get in Sage 100, and that is how to void a check. There are a couple of scenarios that necessitate voiding a check, and I'm going to walk you through. The first one, and the most common, is simply during the check printing process, a piece of check stock becomes damaged or somehow unusable, or a piece of check stock can just be lost. So we want to record that check number that is now unusable in the system as a voided check. We are going to go to Accounts Payable in Main, go down to the Manual Check and Payment Entry screen. The first uh, field to be cognizant of is the bank code. I want to use bank code A. And the piece of check stock that we are going to mark void is check stock number 2800. You'll see that it automatically populates the date. Be careful not to populate the check amount or anything in the vendor number field. We want to leave that blank. And at this point, we simply want to press accept. And it will take us to a prompt. Is this a void check? In this scenario, the answer is yes. Done. Looks good. So let's go ahead and run that through the manual check and payment register. going to slide this up so that it's inside the screen. Let's make this more viewable. You'll see here that we have check number 2800 and it is voided. So everything looks great. Let's go ahead and go through. I'm going to go ahead I'm going to go ahead and select yes in the daily transaction register and we're going to preview it. You'll notice the file is empty. That's because there's nothing to record in the general ledger for this entry. The dollar values are zero. Let's go ahead and go to the bank reconciliation module so that we can see that this check has been voided. And we are in bank code A. And there it is, check number 2800. The amount is zero and it's been cleared. But then I look down here and I see check number 2805 and I say oh no two checks with the same check number in different dollar amounts um, looks like there's an issue here. This can happen when you have multiple people processing AP checks um, in your accounts payable module or in your accounts payable department so let's go back and let's let's just assume for this example that the one that we want to void is this 5,000. Um, in this scenario that I have devised, we have a missed key. We meant to type in five and four zeros, but somehow this check has been double entered incorrectly. So let's let's get rid of this $5,000 check because it's incorrect. So let's go back up to manual check and payment entry. And again, we're in bank code A. Always check that to make sure you're in the correct bank. The, the check we, were, we want to void, essentially, is check number 2805. Now, it's going to prompt again, is this a check reversal? Voiding an issued check in Sage 100 is called a reversal. So we want to select yes. And you'll see the two checks that we previously saw in the bank reconciliation module. And the check we want to select is the 5,000. Another handy feature is that it will automatically recall the invoice so that it will remove the payment from the invoice and you won't have to do any further processing. It's kind of a one-step um, process to reverse the check and remove it from the invoice. So that's very convenient. You see that it automatically populates the amount and the vendor number here. If you go to the lines tab, you see it also automatically populates the invoice number. Everything looks great here, so we're going to accept this. 
Now we have to process the manual check and payment register again. Let me drag that up and make this very viewable. Now you'll notice that we have the $5,000 amount with a negative. So it is being and it is marked a reversal and it's check number 2805 and it's marked on the correct invoice, invoice number 2971. So everything looks good here. Then there is your recap showing the GL account numbers that this will affect. And yes, we want to update the register. Now, if you notice, when we preview the daily transaction register, because there's an impact on our general ledger, you will see dollar amounts here, $5,000 debit to the bank, and a $5,000 credit to accounts payable. Everything looks in order. So let's go ahead and update the daily transaction register. And I'll take you back down to the bank reconciliation module. And we are in bank code A. So now you will see the voided check number 2800 that we did in the first part of this example. And now you see the correct check for 50,000. And you see where we have voided or reversed the incorrect uh, check that was processed under the same check number 2805 and the 5,000 uh, positive and 5,000 negative, the net effect being zero. These are the two most common scenarios in which you will process a voided check or in the second part of this example uh, what Sage 100 calls reversal but in essence you have now voided this check and you should have all of your check numbers in correct sequence and order now at this point point. and we are done thank you very much for listening to my walkthrough